6.30 and it is very extremely hot. What's new? I'm in Animal Kingdom. Surprise. The Tree of Life is actually right there. I would show you guys, but the, the lighting, we've got a good setup going on right here. What setup, you might be asking? Well, hopefully you can hear me. If you can't, then I will be very, very sad. But I got a new camera and a microphone. I'm an official little YouTuber now. The weather gets to be a lot nicer around seven. That's the key, is if you get to the parks around like seven, you have beautiful lighting, as long as it's not raining. You have beautiful lighting and the weather is really good. We are going to have a fun little evening, a little play date, if you will, here in Animal Kingdom. I'm gonna try out my new camera. I'm gonna see if I like it or not. I think we're gonna wait a for the sun to go down a little bit more. So to wait, we're gonna go to my favorite thing, and that is go look in the merch at Animal Kingdom. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. I'm rocking these wedding ears. They're from Disney, but I cut off the veil. This cutie little shirt. Is it not adorable? It says, stay magical. I think that's what it says. This is from the store Wishes & Co. I'll link them down below. Oh, my tote bag is from Princess Polly. I was supposed to use this in Greece, RIP. And then I also want to show you my jewelry. So I have on this cute little Mickey Mouse ring don't mind my nails they oh yeah that's that's tragic is it not adorable this ring is actually from anthropology this is my like my favorite ring i wear every day and then these bracelets little mini bow and a little mickey mouse i have pink on my apple watch so i thought it tied the colors together the disney jewelry i'm wearing this is all from pura vita i actually do have a discount code for you guys i'm gonna put that in the description box as well i'll just link everything in the description and this is the fit Let's go to the merch stores and see what we can find. I'm not allowed to buy anything though. You guys can't let me buy anything. My kind of place. Same sis. These are these are kind of fun. I don't think they'd be flattering on me, but I think they're fun. That's really cute. Am I seeing fall? Is there some ball display for Halloween? Kind of fire. There were some good, good merch options. I actually just bought the cutest t-shirt the other day. I bought it oversized so it'd be off the shoulder. So, cute merch. I'm so excited for the fall and Halloween stuff to come out though. That's gotta be super duper soon. Back in my day, like two, three years ago, I used to spend a lot of time here in Dino Land. Chip and Dale used to meet here in Dino Land, along with Donald, Goofy, Launchpad, and Scrooge McDuck. It was just Donald and all of his besties, or in Chip and Dale's case, his enemies. It was fun. It was a great time. And so I always knew how Chip and Dale got to their location, right? And when you're walking around, you can see where like Donald used to meet. You can see where Goofy used to meet. But I could never figure out how to find Chip and Dale. Like, I knew how Chip and Dale got to their spot because they had their own cute little way. So I thought it'd be fun to go on a little bit of a scavenger hunt and try to find their spot because it's hidden and they don't have like a cute little sign like Donald and Goofy and all of them did. So we're gonna go on a little scavenger hunt and, and find the remnants of where Chip and Dale used to be. Is that what my channel is turning into? Goofy used to meet over there, back there. Donald used to meet right there. They swear the dance party used to happen. R.I.P. I think Chip and Dale would come this way. Well, shoot, it's actually blocked off. All right, let's go around. See, this is where Donald would meet, and it was very obvious. So let's go the back way. This is where I assumed you would find him. Oh, yeah. It was right here, in the Cretaceous Trail. Live dinosaurs right this way. Does that mean Chip and Dale? Maybe. Okay. All right, well, I can't say I'm not disappointed that the trail was closed off, so I guess that's where the memory of them will stay, in the little closed off trail. Oh, Dino Land. So 
So it's August 1st today, and last night I was writing down some goals I just want to set for myself for the month. So I thought I would share them with you guys to kind of hold myself accountable for working towards these goals each and every day. I don't expect to necessarily do these goals every single day, but I expect to at least try. My biggest one actually is going to bed earlier so I can wake up earlier. I think I've learned that if I go to bed at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., which is usually when I do go to bed, I'm just not going to wake up early the next day. So instead of fighting it, I'm gonna try to go to bed earlier to hopefully encourage me to wake up earlier. I think that's what would help. So that's probably one of my bigger goals. That one is gonna be like a, we're gonna try every day, but I just get so like excited and full of energy at night. I just wanna do everything. So I end up staying up super duper late. Another goal is I wanna work out two times a day. So I want to go to the gym in the morning and go on a walk in the afternoon. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do this goal every single day just because things happen. I am going to try doing it every single day. And like the walk really isn't a workout. Like technically it is a workout, but I don't think of it as a workout. I think of it as like something I'm doing for my mental health um, and just to get outside. And then another goal, pretty major one, is that I want every decision that I make to be made with my goals in mind and really just made by making myself the priority like what do I want in the situation and not making decisions based on other people I am the worst people pleaser ever I get so much anxiety just trying to make everybody else happy and I think that's a really sweet thing I just care so much about other people I want them to be happy like that's really nice but the issue is if I'm trying so hard to make everybody happy then I don't have any energy left for myself to make myself happy and that's the most important thing. You've got to look out for yourself. I've got to look out for myself because if I don't, nobody else is. So I need to take that energy that I give to other people and give it all to myself. Here and there, when the time is necessary, of course I will do things for other people. Like I think that'll always just be my personality, I'll always do things for other people no matter what. But I just need to dial it back. For example, I actually had the perfect time to try this goal out. So my friend asked me to go to a movie tonight. It was a movie that they just happened to get passes to, so they were gonna go either way, they just had an extra ticket. I wanted to say yes because I didn't want them to have to go alone and I wanted to hang out with my friend and be there for my friend. However, I don't really like movies. I will go, like I actually, I literally was just at the movies, um, but it's not my favorite like pastime. And the movie was at nighttime, which meant that I wouldn't get home until super late. So I wouldn't be able to go to bed early or at least attempt to go to bed early. And I wanted to go to Animal Kingdom today and I knew that if I went to this movie, I just wouldn't have time to go to Animal Kingdom. So here's where the dilemma happened. So I had to say no and I felt so awful. Like I felt so bad. I put myself first in this decision and it was really, really hard and I'm feeling really, really bad, but I'm also very proud of myself. Oh, and I'm trying not to eat out. I'm trying my hardest not to eat out. That's gonna be a really tough one. So it's about 7.30. It's about the time that I usually go on my little hot girl walks, my literal favorite time in the world. So I thought I could go on a little hot girl walk here in Animal Kingdom. Um, and my goal, I guess I'll just try to walk around the park, like do a circle. Like, I guess, yeah, so I'm in the furthest part of the park. I'm in Dino Land. So I'll start in Dino Land here, go that way. So that's towards Africa and Asia. And I'll go through Pandora and I'll just make a little circle and we'll end probably at the Tree of Life. So let's go on a little hot girl walk in Animal Kingdom. Update, we just made it through Asia, and I believe we're about to head to Africa, right? I mean, I think so. It has been nine minutes so far, and I've walked 0.3 of a mile. We're gonna pit stop through this little area because it's one of my favorite areas. Because, I mean, look at this view. 
the camera doesn't even do it justice. You get to see the tree of life. Oh, it's just great. I guess we'll cut through this way. Even though technically this is the longer way. Six minutes total time. I walked a mile, point one point one miles. It burned about a hundred calories. That's not bad. Not bad. So let's see how many steps I got today. I did work out today already, but okay. I got twelve thousand steps. Did I hit all my goal? I hit all my rings today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>